Mark 4, 9. Then Jesus said, whoever has ears to hear, let them hear. Hi, I'm Minivan Lee, and I live in my minivan full time, and welcome to my humble abode. I love it in here. Today I want to talk about listening versus hearing. Throughout the pages of scripture, there's a word that gets repeated, hear, or a related word, listen. In the Old Testament, the Hebrew word Shema translates into English as hear or listen and is often used to emphasize the act of listening, understanding, and obeying. Today's culture places value on doing many things at once, multitasking. We often try to listen while focusing on other tasks, which divides our focus. The sound of someone's voice might come into our ears, but if we're also scrolling social media, doing schoolwork, or making a meal, we might not fully understand the words. But in the biblical context, hearing does not simply include sound reception. It also involves active obedience and an effort to understand. In Mark 4, 9, Jesus invites us to listen to hear and obey, encouraging us to pay careful attention to his words. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Jesus isn't just asking us to audibly hear his words and carry on with our personal agenda. He's urging us to actively listen and obey, to live by his truth. Listening and obeying are what build our faith in Jesus Christ. Hearing the word of God should lead to a transformed life marked by fruitfulness. As you reflect on the idea of listening in scripture, consider your heart and spiritual receptivity. Are you attentive in God's word, allowing it to transform your life? Or is your hearing divided, causing you to resist his call? I want you to go out and have a blessed day, everybody. Get your thoughts on Jesus and truly hear what he has to say. Till next time, let's all keep looking up.